I'm currently in the Sheep River area and not too far from this location in the spring of 2023, a number of bighorn sheep became seriously infected with a respiratory illness. Alberta's bighorn sheep are a symbol of the untamed wilderness, but a deadly threat looms over these majestic creatures, a threat that originates not from predators, but from their domesticated cousins. MOV or Mycoplasma ovi pneumonia is the single greatest threat to our wild sheep populations in North America. So it's become a real conservation concern. And here in Alberta, we've had seven known outbreaks that have decimated some of our populations. So if we want to maintain bighorn sheep on the landscape, like I think everyone does, we really need to try and address this issue. This disease is primarily passed from domestic sheep to wild sheep through direct contact or environmental exposure. The consequences have been catastrophic, with entire herds of wild sheep being decimated in some areas. So the disease is not something new in our community, in the veterinary community and with domestic sheep and goats. It's definitely something that, that is always on the, the list of, of things that can cause um, problems in a flock or any kind of respiratory disease. Um, the, the information and the education has, has centered around educating them that it, even though it's something that's really innocuous in a, in a, in a domestic sheep or goat flock, it, it certainly can have serious consequences should it be transmitted or transferred to bighorn sheep in the area. In order to increase awareness of the program, government staff are visiting veterinarian clinics like this one to talk with vets about uh, the issue surrounding MOV. And I mentioned that you're in a hot spot here for uh, outbreaks. We have had seven known outbreaks since 1945, so going way back before any of us. Um, I mentioned known because you'll see these are mainly in three locations, all in Southern Alberta, with the vast majority being in Sheep River, which of course is just, just west here. And that, perhaps not coincidentally, is also where we've had a long-term research project. So eyes on the ground. One of the key challenges is balancing the needs of the agriculture industry with the conservation of wild sheep. Alberta is home to a thriving sheep farming community, and their livelihoods are tied to the health and well-being of their flocks. Healthy sheep, like for us, and taking that factor out is that we are creating, for our like producer prefer, our producer plan is healthy animals, and that for healthy animals graze better. And when it comes to interacting with wildlife, there definitely is, we know that there is no concern that we are negatively impacting what's around us. We want to work with the wildlife in our area, not against it. So healthy sheep, if they're movie free, we know that they're utilizing the land to their best potential as well as keeping other animals safe. I'm sorry. You better not have it because you're... Veterinarians play a crucial role in this fight, providing guidance on best practices to prevent the spread of this disease by providing regular health checks, vaccination programs, and controlled grazing are all part of the strategy. As a mixed animal practitioner, I didn't actually really even know, and I was maybe a bit naive to the idea that there was such massive die-offs occurring in, in a, our neighboring wildlife population of the bighorn sheep and that I kind of feel obligated to be able to work so closely with my producers to help to try to create and control this disease for our wildlife population. Um, and to be honest, I had no idea that there was massive die-offs happening until we had these presentations and these conversations with the government and everyone involved in the program. And it was really a eye-opening opportunity for me to say, you know, I need to do something and I need to help my producers become aware of this disease and help with the testing and the surveillance. The provincial government is actively involved with the development of a response plan should another outbreak happen. Cooperation with a number of partners is paramount in order to find a solution that ensures the sustainability of both domesticated and wild sheep. Our partnerships are, are critical. Um, my wildlife disease unit is really small, um, strong but small, but um, 
We have partnerships that uh, we absolutely rely on. We've got ministers in three departments. Uh, we've also got support from Fish and Wildlife Enforcement Service. They work with us in the field to undertake field operations to where necessary to mitigate. And uh, we've got partnerships with uh, the provincial livestock veterinarians uh, in terms of helping the sheep and goat producer community uh, keep tabs on the health of their animals. Uh, we've got the sheep and goat producer communities themselves, the associations of producers who are working with us, uh, helping us with education and with herd health testing. Uh, we've got uh, the Wild Sheep Foundation of Alberta who contributes uh, financial and in-kind support to our efforts. Alberta Professional Outfitters Society are supportive as well. And then outside the province, we've got uh, liaison with the academic community uh, across North America, um, expertise outside of Alberta in terms of MOVI mitigation. And um, we've got partnerships with uh, the veterinarians and the other reg per like regulatory agencies in BC and the Western uh, United States. And with those partnerships, I think we'll continue to be successful in protecting Alberta's bighorns. The fight against this disease is far from over, but with collaboration and commitment, there's hope that Alberta's wild sheep will continue to roam these mountains for generations to come.